Let's see the ABO grouping using gel cut method. First, prepare the gel cut for forward and reverse testing. The surfeited gel for ABO typing can be in form of neutral or specific reagents such as NTA, NTB, NTD or NTCal. Next, small amount of the patient red cell or serum will be added into each gel. Centrifuge the gel cut, then read the reaction grading. The gel within the microtube add as a sheath. An agglutinated cell form a button at the bottom of the microtube. And agglutinated red cell are trapped in the gel. 4 plus indicate a well-defined band of agglutinated red blood cell in the top part of the gel column. A few agglutinated cell may be visible below the band. While 3 plus indicate medium-sized clump of agglutinated cell in the upper half of the gel column. 2 plus indicate a small or medium-sized clump of agglutinated cell throughout the gel column. A few unagglutinated cell may be visible at the bottom of the gel column. In the other hand, 1 plus indicates some small-sized clump of agglutinated cell most frequently in the lower half of the gel column. A small pellet may also be observed at the bottom of the gel column. And lastly, 0 indicates a well-defined pellet of non-agglutinated red cell at the bottom of the gel column and no visible agglutinated cell in the rest of the gel column. Here are two examples of gel cut result from two patients. The first patient show a positive result at the B and D gel. Thus, this indicates that the first patient is having B positive blood group. While for the second patient, the second patient show a positive result at A and B gel but negative result at the D gel. Thus, this indicates that the second patient is having AB negative blood group.